<laughs> walk us through that last play. What was drawn up? That, is that what was supposed to happen? Um, sort of. It was a dribble drive <laughs> offense, and um, it, you know, Laren gave to Lex. Lex gave to the top of the top of the drove, and she gave to me. So it just worked. <laughs> I don't know if it was drawn up or just, you know, just playing ball. Just playing ball. How surprised were you when you were that wide open underneath that? Um, not Barry. I mean. It was, I don't know. I'm, I don't know, I'm blur. still kind of, yeah. It's still, it was a little blur, so. <laughs> With the score, you guys matched the, or tied the program record for wins in the season. Just what's that accomplishment mean to all of you? Um, you've been here the longest, but for me coming in from a program that was struggling and from them having the program struggling years ago, a couple years ago only, for all of us, I think it's huge because none of us have really um, felt that kind of a season where you have 21 wins. And for it to be this big in, uh, like in the record books, that's, it's really rewarding. Mm -hmm. Follow up on that, Simone. What's, mm -hmm. what's it, how, can you kind of describe how expectations sort of have changed as a group just the last couple of years? Um, I think with Coach Miller coming in, he, one thing he wanted us was to buy into his program. And as seniors and as juniors who were here previously before he came, uh, it was a challenge for us. But I think we've been able to do that and to help lead the freshmen. The freshmen have bought into it since day one. So it, it means a lot that that 21 win, you know, is coming from this season. And with the Sloan, or Sloan season, how much does it mean to you personally? Just, you know, freshman, sophomore year, you were on one of combined 50 games, and now you, know, you just tied the program record for the season. I'm sure what that's it means a lot. I mean, it just shows what growth can do. I think, you know, I, I started at a level that um, not many people can say they did. And I think with these freshmen, it just shows that you can put anything, you know, you can do anything that you put your mind to it. And I think it just shows my growth and shows what they can do in four <coughs> years for this program. Uh, I don't think they really threw anything at me differently. It was just uh, that focus, just coming out from the half, having a good half. You just got to carry that over. And that's just going to come with uh, us freshmen. You know, we're going to make mistakes, but it's all about just moving forward, and that's what, we're gonna, that's what we need to do. I know you guys were expecting <coughs> to see that sort of three-quarter press situation. Um, what makes it so hard to go against that? What, what sort of gives you that problem to set for the next night you know, in that sort of press? I think they're very athletic, and they know how to get in passing lanes. and. And that's always difficult, even if you have a team that's a little slower, which they're not. But so they got that going for them too. But if you have a team that's slower, if they know how to get in the passing lanes, it's really tricky. So they just have fast hands and they know where to be. How big was that stretch for you guys defensively, where you stopped them on, on eight consecutive possessions and you turned them over four times? It seemed like you guys were, were jumping in the passing lanes. Uh, well, <clears throat> it meant a lot because the whole game, you know, we kind of struggled defensively. And, I mean, me alone, you know, I didn't really play the best defense tonight. But getting those eight consecutive, it just means a lot to get out those pass passing lanes. And that's just something we buy into in practice. So, Was that sort of something that even though the shots weren't really falling for you during that time, that you sort of knew you were still in the game because you were playing really high quality defense? I agree. I, I think so. I think it uh, boosted our confidence. Um, we knew the shots would fall eventually. It, it was just a matter of getting stops. I honestly believe we play each one like it's our last, like it could be our last, and we don't want it to be because that realization is right there. And so when we, we had a, a little bit of a slump right before this break, and then we got the chance to play again, and I think that's boosted all of mm -hmm. us to enthusiasm. Can say better than myself. <laughs> I mean, he just kept telling us that we were right there. Like, we were getting to that seven-point, you know, difference. We were just right there, and it just kept battling back, you know, going back and forth. And he was just talking about his big word tonight was believe, and I think we really did that tonight. How critical was it to kind of get – you guys kept getting within six and couldn't get over that hump. Once you got over that hump, how much did that kind of change things for you? I think the intensity got higher and, you know, talk got louder. I think the crowd got into it as well. I mean, shout out to them. Like, there were six men on the team. I honestly feel like without them, we wouldn't be where we are. And I think that helped boost us, our energy on the bench, our energy, you know, as players, as coaches. I think it just helped out a lot. 
with your last two games <coughs> before this, uh, essentially coming down to the last possession again, how much did that help coming into this where, again, it's a thriller going right down to the wire? Well, we had mud the game till that last shot. So I think that, um, that the games before were the opposite. We led big, and then they came back. So this time it was just toughness because we didn't really hadn't been in that spot where we were climbing back the whole game. So um, that's what they've been talking the last couple of days, toughness, try to be the tougher team and outwork them with just being blue-collar players. And I think that we did that.